thing is, he, he, if if he knew a bit more about medicine, he probably well, he was going to the ER, but he saw this on the way, and he didn't think he had anything that serious, so he came in here, and ASAP we were able to figure out how serious it was, and um, I got a, you know we got him connected. The funny thing is, is he might have actually ended up in an ER. They're they're pretty good in ERs about triage. Someone comes in and at least takes their blood pressure, but um, he just happened to be right here. I don't I don't really know in the end when he went into that rhythm. I'm suspicious he was in in, in the doorway. I'm mm -hmm. I'm even suspicious when he tried to take his own pulse. He missed it and missed that it was 204 beats per minute. But there's a chance that within a few minutes of interviewing him, he went into it and. I doubt that chance is realistic. I think he was in a, a I think he was in a supraventricular tachycardia in the 200s for maybe 40 minutes. But um, fortunately, it broke in our office here, and he went on to get care at St. John's, and probably eventually needed someone to take him to a cath lab and burn parts of his heart so that loose wires in his heart weren't short circuiting it.